Hello, my friends. Welcome back to The Last of the Firstborn, the Hyperion crew mod for Legacy. I guess it's the Spear of a Dune crew mod. Let us go to Core Hall. At the end of last episode, I asked people where we should go. And basically, as always, people said, yeah, you should go to, you should go here. And it's just, no, but nobody seems to like Shakur, also, and I kind of get it. Well, we've used the Iyer Zealot before, so we're going to pick the Centurion. And we've used the Stalker before, so we're going to pick the Dragoon. And we're going to see what these two bad boys bring to the table. We don't have a Spear of a Dune active yet. Let's jump right into it and stabilize the Sky Shield. I'm looking forward to seeing what the Dragoon brings. I think the Dragoon is probably going to be my core Strider unit that I use for quite a long time. Assuming that it actually brings enough value to the mission. I'm hoping. I'm really hoping. So first of all, we have the Centurion who has Shadow Charge, Dark Coil, Sonic Redirection. Let me just get a couple workers going as I go read. Okay, gains access to the Sonic Redirection ability for 50 gas, which means it costs 100 minerals and 50 gas total. Redirects energy greatly to increase attack and movement speed for a few seconds, drains 10 of the unit shields. Oh. Huh. And then this is the passive that makes it become a strider. That is an interesting upgrade. How much how much are we talking? Greatly increase attack and movement speed. I'm gonna upgrade it once. Let's hit it. It gains it's stim. Oh, it's a one-third increase attack speed. How long does this last for? Okay, it's basically Psy Stim. Very, very, very fascinating. Um. Ooh. I don't know if that's a good ability. <laughs> like, obviously, it's very strong. Um, but they stun. They have an AoE stun. What? I'm so sorry. This is a very complicated ability that I'm going to try it, and I think I'm going to end up losing a lot of melee warriors as a result. Let's just get a couple right now. Maybe we'll use them on defense. Ooh, okay, I like the idea of using them on defense better than the idea of using them aggressively. All right, we're getting into a position that I'm liking then. Because then we can just get on top of these smaller attack waves and blitz them down. We're going to use them to open up this area because it's technically on offense, but like, it's not really. All right, let's go. See how good they are. The thing is, the increased movement speed isn't that impactful due to the fact that the guy basically teleports when he gets to his target, but they slaughtered right there. They definitely did well. I'm not going to be offended by that performance. This is so fascinating, because I don't want to give them away. But at the same time, being able to stim is actually quite nice. It's really nice. Yeah, we're going to get like six of them and a couple shield batteries for defense. Maybe like two cannons, two batteries, six zealots, and then we'll start working on our Dragoon Force. Its pulse will slowly damage our shields. We should destroy it if possible. Gonna go. Completing bonus cannon. Will allow me to improve battery. The power level in the battery. Future. Cannon. And get two of these. Perfect. And get another one of those just to make sure it's all dealt with. And you guys on control group two. I'm gonna hope this is enough to defend. We're almost saturated. We have a lot of gas remaining. But we got upgrades and stuff to get, so it's not the worst thing in the world. And let's check out what the Dragoon does now. It should be pretty beefy. 200 and... Plus three bonus to range! The Dragoon has a base of seven. It's longer than the Stalker. Okay, the Dragoon is insane. The Dragoon is ridiculous. Whoa, because the Dragoon in StarCraft 1 has something like the equivalent of 5 range and probably gets the equivalent of like plus 3. It's hard. Ranges are difficult in StarCraft 1 because everything is just slightly different. But in StarCraft 2 equivalency terms, that's about how it feels. It's like 2.5 bonus range, kind of. But this going up to 10, 
Yeah, it's going to be expensive, but I, I have a feeling that is going to be amazing. Okay, we need to be prepared to move out and start clearing. And I think that I can just slowly open things up, right? How much gas was it? 50-25. So it's not even that expensive. Wow. What an ability. Alright, we're gonna move these up here. They're still very slow. They're very clunky. They, uh, their damage is not the highest in the world. It's okay. But the range is insanity. And that's gonna mean that they can clear objectives pretty darn safely. Oh, whoa, whoa, what? How did they find me up there? I guess the Reapers just accidentally popped up there while pathing because I had these far enough away. Well, we almost lost some already. Let's go. Obviously, we're gonna upgrade these all the way. And we're gonna save for scary things. I think we're going to lose some striders, though. The Dragoon, remember, is not that microable. So we're going to be able to shoot things from afar, but as soon as they get on top of us, we're going to take a lot of damage. But being able to outrange bunkers is phenomenal. This is what Singularity Charge Dragoons in StarCraft 1 have the ability to do. It's one of the reasons that you have to get that Siege Tank early in PvT. Otherwise, Dragoons will just tear you apart. You'll lose all your money on repairs. Try to keep it safe. These are just wacky. What a powerful unit. Okay. Just keep it going. So one thing that I did when I was playing the Hyperion crew mod is I would get to a point and I would just stop building units. Our time is nearly gone. And I think that we're going to have to do that here as well because it pretty quickly becomes much more valuable to retain your units with uh, precise control and having like the ability to retreat cleanly than it is to just have more units. And I think we're getting to that point right now. I would rather be slow, steady, but safe and efficient. And be able to do stuff like that. Oh, my pylon. Careful, careful. Here comes an attack wave. Move these guys to the side. We don't have a whole lot of time remaining. It's okay, though. Oh, gosh, oh, gosh. These guys are all fine. Cool, cool. That worked out nicely. Now let's go get this bonus objective while we're over here. Nice work. Got a repair crew inbound. You got a lot more shield batteries. Because I actually have an idea. If we can't repair our troops, then what we can do is we can leave some of them at home the ones that are damaged, and just replace them with new guys, and effectively use these as photon cannons, with a bunch of shield batteries behind. I like that idea. Alright, we gotta make sure that we get home safely. Gosh, we don't have a lot of time. I have to get real quick, real quick here. Three minutes. I recommend repairing a stabilizer as soon as possible. I'm trying, Karax. I'm trying my best, okay? You can't be judging me for my performance here. We got a couple more dragoons on this side. Alright, let's go. Yeah, the slow is smooth, smooth is fast thing doesn't work when the world is exploding, does it? Should be able to take all this down. We're gonna go boom, 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 boom. Forgot there's five of them. Pull this guy back home. And we're gonna have to wait for shields to recharge, unfortunately, which is gonna take a long time. Oh, 
Yeah, there goes my first unit. Never gonna not lose a unit when you're playing against stuff like that. Terran just does so much damage. 130. Hi, Rock. We are running out of time. We must reclaim a stabilizer now. Okay, let's go. I don't think this area is going to be too bad. Except that siege tank. Ow, 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 ow. One minute, one minute. I don't know why we have high ground vision. Do the dragoons just have high ground vision? Is that a thing dragoons do? I'll take it. All right, so right here, if I... I think that if I go one, two, three, I'm going to get both of them. Oh, I almost got both of them. I mean, I, I got part of both of them, but I didn't get the entire kill. We got the tank, and we have enough time. All right, we got more retirees. Oh, this is so stressful. Okay, where's my pylon? Here it is. Let's try going in from the side over here. I don't have a top bar to blast these tanks. So I want to come in from this side in order to kill this tank beforehand. I like that idea. And then everyone is just rotating around. There's not a whole lot of stuff in here, right? I assume there's no gym Easter egg, but this is also an excuse to look for it. Because if it exists, I want to see it, right? But I don't, I don't have my hopes up. Alright, I think that we could use another wave of guys in here. But this is hitting the hard limit of space. Particularly once we get into more cramped quarters like this. It's going to be a little bit miserable. Impact coming shortly. We should secure another stabilizer. Okay, you guys over here. Everything's looking pretty good. That's a lot of money. Thanks. <gasps> Wait, what? There is a thing. Oh, we got a ghost. Why? Oh, we got a nuke. Okay, that makes a bit more sense. All right, pull this guy back. Make sure we take down the tank fleet. And then I'm going to save the nuke for the last area. Absolutely. I love it. I love getting a nuke. <laughs> of course I do. <laughs> Grant, you're an idiot. <laughs> you know what I mean, though. That's cool. I have an idea for it. I know how I want to use it. No, this is too many, Grant. What are you doing? Eh, well, this guy's going to die anyway. Let's send him to the adepts, and then we can replace him. Oh, gosh. I'm using stalkers from now on. No, I think that these are going to be great units when we have things like Colossus in order to cover them. When we have sentries for the shield regeneration. All those types of tools I think are going to be phenomenal in tandem. But we're not quite there yet. So they're lacking. They're much more of a core army unit. Durability calculations updated. Only one stabilizer still remains in enemy hands. Did I not get... Oh, I did get armor. Okay. Pull you back and you back. Let's keep you safe. Go move forward. Three nukes. Wait a moment. That's a lot of nukes. <laughs> How do I get vision up there without dying? I guess the Dragoons have that high ground vision thing, right? So maybe I have a strategy. And then we can just take this out. I'm going to cloak. I'm gonna move. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, they're going. I will begin installing them as soon as possible. So do you provide high ground vision or was it just a one-off thing? All right, you do. Nice. No, don't pull this guy. No, 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 no. Okay. I guess that worked. I didn't want you to shoot. It's a lot of stuff on the way. We're gonna spread these. Activate that. Move the missile guys forward. Steely-eyed missile men. Go up. 
No, 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 no. Okay. Gotta blow that up. Without another stabilizer, the station has little time left. Oh, that's gone. Are you sure about that? And we should just be able to nuke the stabilizer into being fixed, right? <laughs> I don't know where the raven is. I think it died, or it's just trying to run out of the nuke. Either way, I'm fine with it. Wait, I wonder if we'll get to keep the guy. Uh... Wait, no, the raven! Oh, I was going to go try to go get the other one with my two minutes remaining. But the raven doesn't count as unit defending. That's like such a niche thing, and I completely forgot about it in the heat of the moment. Uh... I don't know if I'm going to retain the ghost. I hope I do. It would be sad if I lost one of the ghosts as a result, but we do have one. I lost a total of 11 units that mission. I don't think that's that bad. I kept all of my zealots alive, just 11 striders. I'm pretty happy with the way that that went. Obviously the Dragoon versus Concussive Shell plus Hunter Seeker Missile is not going to be able to be perfect. That's what the Stalker is for, but we did it. And I'm okay with the I'm okay with the outcome. That was a good mission. I had a lot of fun there. The Dragoon is very interesting. And I think that what, it's going to be so good with Colossus. We're going to have this long-range army. I'm going to go Dragoon, Colossus, Havoc. And then I'm going to force field enemies away and blast them from like 30 range. It's going to be amazing. Oh, I'm really excited. There's so many little things that we can do with these tools. It's going to be awesome. My friends, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.